Learning about disaster prevention. River flooding. When heavy rain continues, a river may breach its embankment or destroy it, causing flooding. Small streams can swell up quickly, even during short bursts of torrential rain, causing flooding. The water level in rivers is also affected by the amount of rain in the upstream catchment area. So the water level can rise, leading to flooding even if the weather is fine downstream. Inundation also occurs in places far from rivers due to inadequate drainage during rain, causing water to gush out of manholes. It becomes difficult to walk properly when the water level rises above your knees. The water may also conceal storm drains and open manholes, sweeping people away. If you fail to evacuate in time and cannot evacuate outside due to strong winds and rain, you are required to evacuate vertically or take other steps to save yourself. You must climb as high as you can to ensure greater safety inside your house. To save yourself from flooded rivers, it's important to sense danger as soon as possible. Be sure to check not only evacuation notices issued by the local government, but also information on the weather and river levels on TV or online. Some places may be prone to multiple disasters, so be sure to check all types of hazard maps. The important thing is to check the hazard maps and know where the danger zones are and where the evacuation areas are. It's only then that you should consider moving to an evacuation area or a friend's or relative's house. On Tokyo My Timeline, you can summarize the actions that you need to take during wind and water disasters to prevent panic. To protect the lives of those you love, use Tokyo My Timeline and talk about it with your family and local community. But above all, be well informed and take appropriate action. Be prepared at all times for wind and water disasters.